Mm. Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. Drinking a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, American classic beer. Anyway, so I told you I'd have something for Christmas, and now I'm delivering to all 14 of you that still watch this channel. You know, I'm not going to wear this for the video. Um, yeah, so this video is my top 10 personal favorite episodes of Chad's Beer Reviews. Let me repeat that. It's my favorite episodes, not my favorite or the best beers I've ever had. Um, in fact, there's actually quite a few bad beers on this list. Um, but they made the list because the episodes are either really funny or memorable or both. In fact, I could probably do an entire video just of my favorite episodes involving bad beer. Um, I actually left out a lot of episodes um, of really great beer on this list because the episodes themselves just aren't that funny, I remember. But anyway, there really is no criteria for the, for this list. They're all just my favorite episodes, ones that are still fun to watch all these years later, and the episodes that have the most sentimental value for me. So with no further ado, let's start the countdown. At number 10... Dogfish Head Squall, which was episode number 162, uploaded on August 4th, 2009. So, if, again, if you're a super OG beer tuber, you might remember Jason, aka Persian Lad, and Jeremy, X Power user. And these are that, those are really deep cuts, so these guys aren't around anymore. Um, way back in 2009, 2008 days. Um, they were two of the first beer tubers I started watching. And at one point, I actually drove all the way down to Pennsylvania from Albany to meet and hang out with them. That was a fun trip. And then a few months later, they came up to New York to hang out with me and Jay. So we shot this review after we had been hanging out all day. Um, I remember just being so psyched to make, make uh, to shoot this review because this beer, the, the Dr. Chad Squall, the Amaso Fats, had uh, reviewed, that, reviewed that beer you know, shortly before we made this episode. And they loved it and they said it was hard to get. So we thought of it, and I think actually the episodes did like put make it like a challenge. Let's see if you could get this. I've talked to either of these guys in years, so if, if you guys are out there watching, hit me up on Facebook or email me. All right, so number nine, and we're hitting a tie already. Uh, the Brewery's Chocolate Rain and Black Tuesday. These were episodes seven sixty eight and seven sixty nine, uploaded on April twenty second and April twenty fifth of twenty fourteen. So you're probably wondering why these super awesome, highly acclaimed beers are only number nine on this list. Well, the beers themselves are, you know, really good, and, and I enjoyed them. But what makes these actual episodes so memorable is because of all the people involved. The guys in front of the camera were all fellow members of the Albany Brewcrafters Homebrew Club. And behind the camera, you can hear Alex's wife, and I'm pretty sure my girlfriend Renee was back there too. Um, so that was a really great year for me. Um, I needed this. I I needed this many people to help me drink those beers because they're like 18 or 19 percent ABV, and they both came in 750 ml bottles. Um, that's just way too much for one or even two people, really. Um, it's an interesting co contrast. The Squall review that we just did in number ten. Um, also shot in my living room because um, I knew way more about beer in 2014 than I did in 2009, although I know way more about beer in 2018 than I did in 2014. So, yeah, it was nice to be able to try these whales, but I probably wouldn't consider them personal favorites. These episodes, I would, though. All right, so number eight, PBR, Paps Blue Ribbon, episode number 270, uploaded May 8th of 2010. So this is another... Another one of my early reviews, but what's interesting about this beer is that it, it certainly wasn't a great beer, but it, it wasn't god-awful as some of the other beers, as you'll see on this list. The reason uh, this this episode is so memorable is because it was inspire, inspired by Mark Sinderson, uh, who used to be one of the biggest beer tubers who went by uh, the channel name Video Beer Reviews. Brilliant name, by the way. Um, he used to do uh, food and beer pairings in almost all his videos. And he would even show you how he made the food. I always loved his videos with the big green egg. Um, in fact, this episode actually starts out with me watching Mark's videos making beer brats on, on YouTube. He's Mark deleted his entire channel. I'm really sad. Um, anyway, um, so it's also memorable because this was when I had broken my hand and still not fully healed. Um, and uh, so you can see I'm wearing a cast at the time. Um, as for the beer, I thought it was just kind of a generic fizzy yellow lager, but it didn't strike me as super foul or offensive. I actually 
like and appreciate PBR a lot more now uh, than I did back then. Every once in a while, I'll pick up a four pack of Tall Boys at Walmart and some brats and make this exact same recipe. Um, a lot of people tell me I should have done more food and beer pairing episodes like this, but this was good enough for me. All right, so number seven, Three Floyds, Amon Amarth Ragnarok, Imperial Porter. Episode number 611, uploaded on January 12th of 2012. So if you follow the most popular uh, beer reviewers on YouTube, you've probably seen Peter, the master of hoppets by now. Don't ask me to pronounce his last name. Uh, him and I did a lot of Skype reviews back in the day, and we even reviewed a comic book series uh, on, my, on my other channel, Chat 976. Uh, since he lives in Denmark, there was just no way for us to get together in person until he came to the States for a semester of college. So we we shot this review in the parking garage at, I believe it was JFK, yeah, JFK Airport, while he had uh, uh, actually only, uh, I think it was like 90 minute, two hour layover. Um, so I had to drive from Albany to New York and then, you know, find him in the airport. And we only had, you know, like maybe an hour to shoot the review. Um, and I was so, the entire time we were making this, I was so worried that some security guard was going to bust us for open container or, or just that he would like miss his flight or something like that. Um, or just any kind of hang up. But actually the whole thing went really smooth according to plan. I was, I was amazed. I asked for the beer itself. I mean, the beer itself was fine. You know, not the greatest beer ever, but it was special because first of all, it's a three Floyds beer. I mean, they're three Floyds and they're, I mean, they're still hard to get unless you live in Indiana or Chicago. Um, and I had a trade for it with someone. I can't remember who exactly. Maybe it was Rob Walker. Um, and it was a, a collab they did with the Swedish death metal band that Peter was a big fan of at the time. I'm sure he probably still is. I've never really listened to him. Um, so it was just a perfect synergy of just all these things lining up. Number six, West Vletrin 12, the third review I did of it. Episode number 727, Uploaded December 1st, 2013. So we all know that West C12 is supposed to be the greatest beer in the world. And I, like I said, I just, I reviewed it three times. This was the third time that I reviewed it. First, I reviewed it with Henry and Kevin Burns. Then about a year after that, I reviewed it by myself. And then in December, 2013, I reviewed it with uh, Scott, uh, who was a brewer at Amagang at the time. In fact, we actually did this review in Amagang Brewery. Um, up in the, um, you know, like the, where the offices are and you can see the bottling line behind us. Um, we were, we were actually brewing a homebrew on the Amagang pilot system at the time. Um, and it was like during the mash stage or the boil. it was like, we just had time to kill. So it's like we had to sit there and babysit. Um, and, you know, Scott really knows his stuff. And I mean, he was working for Amagang at the time, not just some nano brewery startup or something like that. Um, and he knows all about Belgian beers, so um, he had great insight to this beer. I don't think I've had Westy 12 since this review, but knowing what I know now about beer, I'd probably say any of the Trappist or Abbey Quads, like you know Rochefort 10 or Saint Ar Saint Bernardus 12, are are just as good. So if you can get those, um, and you can't get Westy 12, they're a pretty good substitute. Number five, Alpine Exponential Hoppiness, episode number 626. Uploaded February 20th, 2012. You know, so Jay and I did a lot of reviews together between 2009 and 2011. He turned me on to some of the best beers I've ever had. Uh, it was tough trying to pick out my favorite episodes where he's a guest, but this is definitely one of them. Even though this beer isn't a personal favorite like Pliny the Elder or Heidi Topper, this particular episode is one of my favorites for a few reasons. First of all, at the time we were making this video, all the Beer Geek Nation guys like Chris, Ryan, Peter, Winton, Dan and Jameson, remember all those guys? They had been raving about this beer, so Jay and I absolutely had to try it. In fact, we mentioned them in this episode. I think I got this in a trade with Ryan. Um, second of all, it was just a fun episode to make because we were outside in February in New York, and we're trying not to freeze, and then it starts snowing. Spoilers. Um, there's actually been a few episodes I made outside in the snow, but this, this was the most fun because the snow wasn't planned. Um, I haven't had this beer in years, but I'd love to try it again and see if it's as good as I remember. Number four, Keegan Ale's Super Kitty, episode number 310, uploaded August 2nd, 2010. Of course, I had to include uh, an episode on this list that featured the Yama Self Hats. They were always one of my favorite beer tube channels, and they still are, by the way. Um, they were one of the first beer tubers I ever started watching. And just by coincidence, they lived in upstate New York too, so we were able to get together at least once a year when I lived in Albany. 
we shot uh, quite a few episodes together, but but this one was probably my, my favorite. Not because the beer was you know all that great. I mean, it was really good, but because I had to drive like two hours to meet them at a restaurant downstate to try and the super exclusive beer. And there's a cameo appearance by Kevin Burns, who was a regular guest reviewer on my show back in the days, and he worked at that, this restaurant um, where we shot the review at. I really like this episode because it's just, it's just pure fun from start to finish. Number three, Murphy's Irish Red. number Episode number 240, uploaded uh, March 17th, 2010, St. Patrick's Day. So, you know, Henry and I reviewed a lot of bad beers together. Uh, it was really tough deciding between this and Mountain Brew Beer Ice um, as to which episode of all the bad beers that we reviewed, which one was my favorite. I think that it was the, the Murphy's um, was the slightly better beer, but this was the better episode. Uh, it was just so much fun to make. We shot it on St. Patrick's Day, like I said, outside. So we're wearing green, obviously. And I think this was the first bad beer Henry and I ever reviewed it together because up until that point we were reviewing you know mostly good stuff and and we didn't pick this beer because we thought it was going to be bad in fact we just want we just wanted something irish theme for saint patrick's day obviously and i clearly remember henry and i just dying laughing when we were editing the video and i never knew that i could do slow motion or backwards until we were making this this edit this video so that's why i included it um maybe it's a little over edited but I still think it's one of the funniest episodes I've ever made. Number two, Southern Tier Chocolate, episode number 211, uploaded January 23rd, 2010. If you know me, you know I love chocolate beers, and Southern Tier Chocolate is probably the best of them. Um, this episode is my first time ever having a really, like a liquid fudge dessert beer. I think the only other chocolate beer I had had at the time was Sam Adams Chocolate Bop, which is a fine beer, but... But Southern Tier Chocolate is so much better. Um, this isn't the most exciting or funniest episodes in my archives, but it's one of my favorites just because of everything that was happening at the time. I had just gotten an HD camera, and my channel was really starting to gain traction, and Jay was turning me on to all these great beers. In fact, he even says in this video that it's one of his, he said he put it like number one or t number two of his all-time favorite beers. I, I, I don't know if you'd even put it in top 20 anymore. Um, I probably, I haven't put it in top 20. I'm not sure about top 10. I try to get this beer, um, at least, you know, get like one bottle a year. It's not quite as amazing now as it was back then, but I still like it. All right, number one, another tie. But you knew this was coming. Budweiser and Bud Light Clamato Chalada. Uh, the Bud Light version was episode 335, uploaded September 21st, 2010, which was the day after the first time I ever reviewed West C12. And the Budweiser version was episode number 464, uploaded May 13th, 2011. So about, what, eight months later or something like that? So, you know, it's kind of ironic that my favorite episodes of my own show are two of the absolute worst beers I've ever had. In fact, I wouldn't even really consider these beers. They're packaged cocktails because they're beer mixed with clamato, which is tomato juice, clam broth, and salt water. <laughs> uh, at the time I made both these videos, I was a hardcore fan of reckless eating. Um, I saw them getting, you know, so much attention, uh, eating and drinking terrible food and drinks. So I felt like I had to get in on the action myself. Um, I'm also uh, a little proud of myself for that, that Jim Gaffigan joke thing. How can we make tomato juice taste even worse? I got an idea. Let's add clam broth to it. That is brilliant! Not even that. Let's add crappy Budweiser and Bud Light to it. You magnificent bastard, you just made millions! And I still like the ambience of the outdoor video since it was such a nice day and you can hear the birds chirping and everything. I haven't had either of these beers since then and I doubt I'll ever have them again. People still comment on these videos once in a while telling me that these beers aren't intended for white people. And some people say I was faking it when I was gagging on the, the second uh, video there. Trust me, that was a 100% authentic reaction. I came really close to throwing up in that, that second time. So if you've never seen these episodes, I highly recommend watching them all the way through. All right, so I guess that about wraps it up. I was going to include an honorable mentions list here, 
but it would have been really long with like another 20 or 30 episodes so i just decided to leave them out i mean they're all my my babies i'm proud of them all um for the most part um what episodes were were your favorites that's what i want to know who was your favorite guest reviewer did you like it better when i reviewed really good beer or really bad beer so let me know in the comments I do have a couple more videos that I'm really, really slowly working on, so don't unsubscribe just yet. Um, I will see you guys sometime in 2019. Until then, thanks for watching and cheers.